What we clearly saw as we looked at data for this year is that adversaries are using search engine optimization, right? Legitimate techniques that marketers use to try to get their malware listing hosted on some website to the top of those search engine results. This is a really tough method for defenders to try to prevent because of course we're all gonna use search engines. If I'm searching for recipes for soup, right? The search results give me recipes for soup. I click recipesforsoup.exe. I'm not paying attention and I execute that. A lot of people in the legal sector will search on their favorite search engine for terms like legal agreement, services agreement. That word agreement popped up again and again in the initial delivery for Gootloader. So it's kind of interesting, although we didn't see a lot of differentiation and threats between industries, we did see a couple like Gootloader where there was a different effect in different industries. So your users are always going to be searching for examples that they can use, for sample templates. You can't stop that. You can't tell your users, don't do that anymore, you know, create everything from scratch. It's not efficient. So many of the preventative measures that you can take to protect your environment are very basic and very easy to implement. Things like changing the default associations for scripts, for example, for common initial access payloads to prevent your users from infecting themselves when they inevitably do click on something that appears in their inbox or implementing ad blocking across all of your endpoints. A lot of the threats that we've seen come from malvertising and it's very simple to just select a, an extension to start blocking ads on your users' browsers and decreasing the footprint that you actually have to protect. Yeah.